Pix 11's Monica Morales joins us now with this week's Follow Up Friday. Hey and we already heard a positive update. That's right. And you know, you remember the story, right? Mm -hmm. And I always make the promise, I always say we're going to go back. We do. We always go back. And it is hotter inside than outside their senior center. They're miserable. So they also have one elevator that keeps getting stuck. So they reached out to us for a little bit of help. And we do have good news, Erin. I got this video from New York City Council Member Eric Botcher. He says his office got a call from the mayor's office after our story and the New York City's Department for the Aging. They're on it, working together to make it happen. Hopefully a quick fix will stay on the story. And don't forget to watch my next Monica Makes It Happen TV show this Monday at 430. It's all about empowering our youth and building wealth in our communities. Some of my special guests include, like you said, legend Ben Vereen and Congressman Richie Torres. Monica makes it good. <laughs> Monica makes it happen. Tune in, Pixie Living. <laughs> wow. I draw inspiration from you because you've been a happy warrior for everyday people on the ground. I mean, you're giving voice to those who otherwise would be unheard. You're telling stories that would otherwise be untold. So I draw inspiration from you. So awesome. Also on our show, every, um, Diana Ross's daughter, Rhonda Ross, and of course, Dennis Coleman, the CFO of Goldman Sachs, is going to be on as well, helping finance $125 million for the first school, and there he is, in East Harlem, mm. and more than, get this, what? 60 years. 